So we're pulling out some weeds so that we can create some fertilizer, some compost, compost tea for them. So we're gonna get, we have a lot of grass in there. So now let's go and uh, collect some of the grass. Oh, I'm gonna also get some of these grass cuttings. This has unfortunately has already been old, but that's still okay. It will still be useful. So we basically, what we need is basically some grass or weeds or any kitchen scrapping but I don't have very much kitchen scrap because I do compost my kitchen scrap almost on a daily basis. So we're just going to grab some of these grass cuttings that's in here. Okay, so in this one, I have uh, gathered a lot of uh, uh, grass that I pulled out, some old uh, straws from the garden, different kind of weeds and stuff, right? So got there. So now we're gonna just add here is a comp compost manure and I have um, mushroom manures that's what we have in here so I'm gonna add some mushroom manure in here oh yeah this is actually more here too my husband has uh, trimmed down the apple and so he cut cut some apples out so we're also gonna use all these apples you know so these are something that is also very useful for for our uh, purpose for making fermented water in our in our uh, compost in our compost tea so we're gonna add some of these as well we have a lot more of these so he just make he cuts it off so it's it's too bad that there's a lot of waste on on the apples that get wasted here there's a lot a lot has been wasted but that's okay uh, it's a lot, uh, it's not too heavy for the tree, for the branches. So now they can concentrate off um, only uh, rifling a few of it. And hopefully I can get more in that way. So look at this guys, it's turning, they're starting to turn red now. This is a beautiful red apple there. There's that. So there's still a lot here for me. <laughs> a lot more for me. So we're going to uh, pick up some of these apples that drop on the floor, on the ground. And so we're going to add that one in our collections of this. Uh, we're going to add this in our collections. So we're going to need some really nice, good compost tea in it. A lot more. Just pieces of this nice thing there okay so that's for now that side and there's a few more here it's always good to uh, compost the water so that it will not go in my race box so the seeds will stay in the pillow and at the, also at the same time it's also it will be a lot easier for me to uh, just pull out the whole pillow with the case and stuff so I can I can grab the water when I when I need the water so that's a lot easier so that we can always also reuse this one to start another another, another batch of our compost tea so this one we're gonna mix it in water and we're gonna leave it for about seven days and it should be ready for seven days so I put this container here at the back where there is no direct sun that can come in because you don't want a direct sun in your uh, compost bin because uh, you want the enzymes, the good bacteria, um, the microbes to survive on it. So now I'm using rainwater. Um, if you have a way to collect rainwater, use rainwater. Um, if your water system supply has bleach on it, I recommend that allow the water to sit down in a root for 48 hours or for two days or a day at least to get rid of to allow the bleach to evaporate so that um, because the bleach are not healthy for microbes it kills microbes uh, so so it's good to allow them to evaporate first but this time first choice if, of course is rain water to use so now we're gonna fill this up our just put our container there and once we have filled this one up with water we're going to cover this there you go so this will be our compost tea and in seven days this will be enzymes that will be alive 
in this container here and our water will be richer to use as a fertilizer natural fertilizer for our plants so that is guys that is how i try to save money instead of buying fertilizers and also the good thing is you're also helping with environment and at, at the same time it is chemical free for your for the soil it's the soil needs those natural microbes that is um that we don't really need right because weeds kitchen scrappings the only thing that you need is basically to make time to create your compost water so that you can have a, a natural fertilizer for the plants so this is actually the first time i'm going to do this is because now i have enough time on my hands working more in the yard and working less for someone else <laughs> Becoming an online digital business owner, I have more time on my hands. And so now this is it. This is something that I can enjoy and that I am proud to do of doing my own uh, compost tea. Enjoy, everyone. Hopefully, you can also try to do this. You don't have to do this in a very, very big containers. You can just uh, have um, another, another option to do it. So this is another way of doing it. You can have uh, smaller containers and also one another one that you can put it inside the container that make sure they have a big holes around it at the, at the bottom or on the sides as well you can put it as well on the sides or bottom so this is another way of doing this and also the important one is the lid right so in this one i'm gonna use uh, a lot of we have some kitchen scrapping in here that we have not unfortunately we have not all used up you can use all those kitchen scrap in there and then you can um, all those uh, green stuff preferably some healthy green stuff and also some of the green 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 cuttings from the yard and we just you gonna use some of those these are from the apples my husband cut the apples so we can still use all those apple stuff there Use that there. Okay. Try not to use the twigs. So you can use all those. And also the grass. This one we can put. Let's put some mushroom manure in here. The mushroom manures are already processing so that they have good microbes in there that will speed up the process of fermenting, of creating a, a good compost tea for you. So this one, and then we're gonna fill this one up with our. We're gonna fill this one up with rainwater. And if you don't have rainwater, you can also use. Um, you can also use some tap water, but just leave the tap water for at least a day or two, sitting. to sit, 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 sit. Let it sit on a container for a day or two, so that you can get rid of the of the bleach on on it. So that's a good way of getting rid of the bleach right so that's a lot in there right so that's so now i'm gonna fill this one up i have more grass that i can so we're gonna fill this one up with water we'll put some rain water here so we're gonna wash this good wash the plastics off just to get this water out because there have good ingredients there. That's a nice, that's nice water there. So we're just gonna basically fill this one up with water. And we'll put some rainwater here. So we're gonna wash this with the plastics off just to get this water out. Because there have good ingredients there. So 
nice that's nice water there So we're just gonna basically fill this one up with water. And then we're gonna leave it there for about five, seven days. And that water is actually rich and ready for fertilizer use as your compost for the plants so that uh, you can promote the growth of the microbes on it. So, all right guys, we have made a homemade compost tea and it will be useful in about five, seven days.